Praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of Touch of Healing. I'm Pastor Daniel. And as usual, I want to share a short message from the Word of God and pray for the sake. We have established over and over again that it is the will of God that everyone should be healed. The Bible says that God's desire is that none should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And it tells us in 10 John that I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. One of the questions people usually ask them, why are so many people sick? Now we have answered that over and over again. Again, if you have watched any of our other episodes of Touch of Healing, and that the reason people are sick is because the devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. It's not God's will that anyone be sick. Now, people say, well, God permitted it. The reason God permits it is because we permit it. Jesus said, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever we lose on earth is lost in heaven. Meaning if we don't want to be sick, we have the right and the authority to stop sickness and disease. And that's the reason for the touch of healing is to help teach the word of God, build people's faith so that you and I can resist the devil and overcome sickness and disease. Today I'm actually talking about resisting the devil, resisting the devil. Now once you know that the devil is the source of sickness and disease, just like the Bible tells us in, in Acts 10, 38, the Bible says Jesus went around doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. The question now is then how do we defeat the devil? How do we overcome the devil? The Bible is very clear. In 1 Peter chapter number 5, I'm going to read verse 8 and 9. It says here, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished, accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So the Bible says here is that the devil is the one that is looking for who to devour. Devour means to destroy, to kill, to steal, to make sick. Then he tells us simply how to resist the devil. He says, resist him steadfast in the faith. Meaning that if you want to stay well, you want to stay prosperous, you want to stay healthy and joyful, you can't just receive anything or everything the devil brings. You are going to have to stand, and the Bible says you have to stand in your faith in God's word. That means that if you are standing in your faith, the devil can't devour you. In short, if you read uh, James chapter number 4, 7, he said, if you resist the devil, he said, the devil will flee from you. That means that sickness will have to go, disease will have to go, poverty will have to go. And all we need to do is to resist the devil by faith, in the faith of God's word. And so I know the next question is, so how do I have that faith? Very simple. The Bible tells us in Romans 10, 10, that faith comes Romans 10 17 that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God so as I'm sharing the scriptures with you and I'm going to be praying with you at the end the Word of God is producing faith in your heart first of all you know that it's not God's will for you to be sick that's the devil that wants to kill steal and destroy and now you know that if you resist him in faith you will be healed and this faith comes from God's word. So as you're listening to God's word, your ability to stand against the devil is being built up. Because faith means you trust the word of God and do what the word of God says. And what does the word of God say? He say, if you're sick, he say, you can call the elders of a church. And if they pray over you, he said, the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord raise him up. It also means that when we pray, you must believe that you receive what we ask for. That's what Mark 11 tells us. He said, if you pray, believe that you receive and you shall have it, verse 22 and 23. So it's important that we understand that as we pray tonight, as we pray, whatever time you're watching this, just believe that the healing power of God is coming unto you. Believe that Jesus paid for your sin and your sickness, and by his stripes you were healed. If you believe that as we begin to pray, and as we complete praying, your healing will take place. You will resist that sickness, that disease, you will stand against it and the disease will have to flee because the devil will flee when you resist by faith. So let us pray. If you're sick, you can just put your hand where the disease is or stretch your hand towards the screen. The healing power of God is coming through the screen right now to reach you where you are. So let's go ahead and pray. Father, we thank you for everyone watching this program. The word says, by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. And we believe the word. So Satan, I come against you. Take your hand off your body. I command cancer to dry up. Pain, chest pain, eye problems, back pain, whatever the sickness is. I say, lose your hand 
in the name of Jesus. I command healing anointing to come from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I command faith to resist the devil so that the devil will flee and never come back again. In Jesus' name. I declare you healed. Declare you are healed. Believe and begin to rejoice. And you discover that the healing power of God is upon you. That the devil has taken his bags, his sickness and disease, and has gone out of your life. Because you resist him by faith. Again, I'm Pastor Daniel. It's always a great pleasure to bring you God's word. Contact us this week. Text us, write us, email us, uh, WhatsApp, or whatever communication means you can use. Let us know what God has done. And don't forget to subscribe and share this channel so that others will know what God has done and what God can do. That if you resist the devil, he will flee from you. I'll see you in another edition of Touch of Healing. Have a blessed day.